Welcome to Blessed Sacrament for the seventh Sunday of Easter. The opening hymn is Alleluia, Sing to Jesus. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, this is the first time in a, a good number of weeks when uh, we can have up to 10 people at Mass. So we have a few here, so thanks so much for coming and uh, being part of this special Mass. We continue our journey through the Easter season, preparing now for the Feast Solemnity of the Pentecost, a week from now. We stand before God, acknowledging times, moments, places we fail to do God's will, fail to invite the Holy Spirit to guide us and lead us, inspire us and teach us, and we ask for God's mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to the lasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, and on earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, we adore, we adore you, you, we glorify you. We give we you give thanks you for your great, great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God heavenly, heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, God Lamb of God, Son, Son of the Father, Father. you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take, take away the sins of the world. Receive, receive our, our prayer. prayer. You are you seated at the right, right hand of the Father. Father. Have, Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously hear our supplications, O Lord, so that we who believe that the Savior of the human race is with you in your glory may experience as he promised until the end of the world his abiding presence among us, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up to heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying, Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Ephesus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. 
All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge, of whom should I be afraid? I believe that I shall see the good things of the One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks, you my glance seeks. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, rejoice to the extent that you share in the sufferings of Christ, so that when his glory is revealed, you may also rejoice exultantly. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the spirit of glory and God rests upon you. But let no one among you be made to suffer as a murderer, a thief, an evildoer, or as an intriguer. But whoever is made to suffer as a Christian should not be ashamed, but glorify God because of the name. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come back to you, and your hearts will rejoice. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. 
Friends in Christ, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son, so that your Son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people, so that your Son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life. Today should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorify you on earth by accomplishing, accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave to me I have given to them. And they accepted them and truly understood that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world, while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, certainly a beautiful day today. The first week was just gorgeous. Uh, finally, we can say goodbye to winter and uh, welcome almost summer. It was a beautiful experience um, that uh, I had this morning. A group of three homeschooling families, they called me a few days earlier and they said, we'll be visiting nine churches today, kind of a sort of like a novena of prayers, and they will be praying in their parking lots, special prayers, uh, for guidance and for safety and for reopening of all churches. So they came and um, they invited me to join, of course, the, the proper safe distancing and uh, it was beautiful, beautiful. To see children coming, praying with children, uh, parents. Um, this inner desire that I believe that we all have we have this desire to pray, desire to be with God, desire to come to church again so that we can be with the people of God, the community of the faithful. Today's liturgy marks the seventh Sunday of Easter season, right in between the solemnity of the ascension of Jesus into heaven last Thursday, and the Pentecost, a week from now. This is a time of anticipation, expectation, awaiting for the Holy Spirit. Today's first reading, we hear about, from Acts of the Apostles, about apostles after the ascension of Jesus. They went back from the Mount of Olives wasn't far, maybe a mile away. <clears throat> they went back to Jerusalem into the upper room, the same holy place where they spent the Last Supper. They celebrated Last Supper with Jesus and the apostles and uh, Blessed Virgin Mary and a few other women. Basically, the beginning of a small, tiny, original church. And they were praying. They were praying as one, 
in unison, that's what we hear, they were praying, anticipating this great promise, for Jesus promised that when he goes back, and he did go back by then, he would not leave them orphaned, that he would send them the paraclete, the, the, the Holy Spirit, to guide them, remind them, teach them. And they were praying that this special gift would be coming their way. They didn't know exactly when. They were trusting and praying. We celebrate this time right now. Uh, liturgically, it's a time of transition, anticipating Feast of the Pentecost. I know some people do special uh, novenas to the Holy Spirit um, and uh, 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 praying, kind of remem remembering our own confirmation, perhaps, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. We can look it up. Uh, it's time for us, maybe individually, if we want to, to open our minds and hearts because this is the era of the Holy Spirit. We, um, as Christian church, we're being guided by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit has never left. Even if in, during this COVID-19 uh, shutdown, liturgies were, public masses were not allowed, the Holy Spirit was always with people. For Holy Spirit entered us at our baptism giving us all the gifts already as little tiny seeds, and then we kind of, we've developed the gifts and we receive the fullness of the gifts at confirmation, so we are filled with the Holy Spirit. It's a beautiful gift from God, and as long as we continue to open our minds and hearts to his guidance, his presence, then he will not only never leave us, but he will precisely guide us and lead us to all truth. That's the mission of the Holy Spirit. Today's gospel reading, Jesus is praying in the upper room, but that was before, the night before his passion, Holy Thursday night. This famous uh, chapter, uh, uh, gospel of John, chapter 17, the high pr priest prayer. Jesus is a high priest about to offer himself an ultimate sacrifice, an ending, ongoing, perfect sacrifice, fulfilling all sacrifices, no more need for any more sacrifices in the temple. In fact, no more need for the temple. Jesus became a new temple in his risen body. So he prays that this gift, the apostles, the gift, that God gave to him, and he is giving them over now back to his heavenly Father, asking for protection, asking that they would be one, asking that they would continue to be guided and uh, ultimately go to be with him forever. This prayer extends also for all the followers of Jesus, all the apostles, including ourselves, a beautiful prayer. God has glorified apostles, Jesus in apostles, and God has glorified us. We are made in the image and likeness of God. We reflect God's glory, God's light. That's who we are. And it's easy to be frightened. And when we get frightened, and we did get frightened because of this pandemic and all the restrictions and shutdown and uh, when people watch TV, the only thing they hear is um, counting and, 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 and number of getting sick and people dead and all kinds of things. Like this, this is the only thing that would be happening right now in the world. Life goes on. In fact, right now, um, the initial wave, thank God, has passed. We flatten the curve. Uh, we managed it well overall, and um, it's time to move on safely with proper precautions, proper adherence to proper guidelines, but it's time to move on. So uh, many spiritual, relig religious leaders echo what President uh, of the United States said yesterday, 
that um, he would uh, very much like that all houses of worships of all denominations, all religions would be open, would be moved from stage four to stage one, would be made essential. For in the Holy Spirit we know that we are spiritual beings and our life is essential, our prayer is essential. Prayer is very powerful, especially in time of pandemic, very powerful. Prayer is medicine. Prayer can heal. Prayer can bring about miracles. So we pray. We pray in this Mass, in Jesus who comes to us in the Holy Spirit, who comes to us in the Eucharist, his own body and blood, always giving himself, of himself, to us, to the Church. May this be our reason to hope, our reason to be joyful, and in this, especially this week as we anticipate coming of the Holy Spirit next Sunday. And uh, by the way, uh, in this parish now, uh, as the Diocese of Buffalo is uh, slowly getting ready to be open again as far as churches, we'll kind of listen for guidance from the governor and our uh, diocesan uh, apostolic administrator We'll see if we are, hopefully, it will be my wish, we will be open for some uh, group prayer mass experience and feed the Feast of Pentecost. If not, maybe we can do driving mass in the parking lot. Um, that should be allowed by then. Um, it should not be a problem. So we'll see where, where the Holy Spirit will guide us and lead us. Let's keep on opening our minds and hearts with the Holy Spirit's guidance. As church now we stand and um, profess our faith I believe in one God Father Almighty maker of heaven and earth all things visible and invisible I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ the only begotten Son of God born of the Father before all ages God from God life from light true God from true God begotten not made consubstantial with the Father through him all things were made for us, men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, who was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the land and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, for with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I give one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life the world to come. Amen. Now putting our total trust and faith in the risen Christ, in the Holy Spirit's guidance, we present our prayers and petitions, praying for the church in the world today. We pray for the church on earth. May God increase her in holiness always. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders who follow the example of Christ, may God help them in their service to their people and the kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christians throughout the world who are suffering for their faith in Christ, for all the persecuted Christians, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died in faith, all those who've died of uh, COVID-19, for all the deceased mothers uh, whose uh, intentions we remember, Mother's Day intentions presented on the altar, and especially for intention of this Mass today, for Catherine Chauvin, 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those affected in any way by this ongoing pandemic, those who lost their loved ones, those who got sick, who are recovering, those who love <coughs> jobs, those who experience any kind of a hardship, whether it's emotional, spiritual, physical, um, a distance from loved ones. We pray that they may persevere, may God give them all kinds of graces needed, and that all of us, our nation, our country, the world may come out of it stronger and better. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, rejoicing as an Easter people, may God bless our efforts to protect the dignity and sanctity of all human life from the conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, please hear and answer our prayers in your wisdom according to your plan of salvation for us. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Praise sisters and brothers, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, in Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who takes, has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy.
you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, and he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Rendered we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. To him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. 
the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, all we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. In the same way, it's up each other's hands. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not, I am not worthy you should that you enter under my roof. Under my roof. Only, only say, say the, the word, word my, my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I firmly believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you under the sacramental veil, I beseech you 
with a full heart of love and longing to come spiritually into my soul. As though you were already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear us, O God, our Savior, and grant us confidence that through these sacred mysteries there will be accomplished in the body of the whole church what has already come to pass in Christ her head, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Now, in these difficult times, I invite you to join me in a prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And though thou not have any host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowled about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. I definitely pray and wish that you all have a great week. Be safe. And uh, because things are changing very quickly, um, we'll be listening to daily announcements about possible opening and timing of it and so on. Uh, so far, we can have up to 10 people per mass. My suggestion is that anyone who offered or who requested mass, specific mass intention for a specific mass, if you want to be part of that mass, please call the rectory office and we'll uh, line you up. And maybe up to four or five people from uh, the same family or household can be part of that mass. Otherwise, we'll see you, hopefully at the Feast of Pentecost. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. He him is crown him with many crowns. Crown him with many crowns, the Lamb upon his throne. All kingdoms of the earth resound in praise of him alone. Awake, my soul, and sing of him who died for thee. And tell him as thy risen king for all eternity. Crown him the Lord of life, who triumphed for the grave, who on the third day did arise and hope to his glory now we sing, who died and rose on high, who came eternal life to bring, who lives no more to